Hello, everybody. Welcome to Channel 256 News. I'm your host, Trevor Bello. Every day, I bring you the latest news in Bitcoin and Bitcoin mining, and I do so in just under 10 minutes so that you can get back to doing exactly what you love to do and get on with your busy day. We're going to get right into it. But before we do, I just want to say thank you to everybody who's been tuning in daily. Please leave your feedback and let me know what you guys think of the daily news segments. What kind of news topics would you like to see in Bitcoin and Bitcoin mining? I try to cover the things that are most recent, but I'm always looking for feedback to find out what you guys are most interested in. But with that, let's get straight into the news. And first, we got to go over the mining metrics. So the current block time today is 872,154. Total network hash rate is 753.9 exahash, and the daily hash price is $60.10 per petahash. We did hit an all-time high of 99K on November 22nd, and we are currently sitting at about $92,570. The last difficulty adjustment happened on November 18th. It was 0.6% upwards adjustment, and the next adjustment happening in 791 blocks will happen as of right now on December 2nd. It's slated to be an upwards adjustment of 3.7%. As always, the last thing in the mining metrics is the fee environment. We're looking at eight sats per V-byte, so make sure you take care of your UTXO count and get those in order. If you're confused on how to do that, please feel free to reach out to me. I would love to help you. Before we dive into the first news segment of the day, Bitcoin Mining World has a thousand used S19 X XPs in the USA. The price on those on those XPs is eight dollars and five cents per terahash, and the hash rate on them is one hundred and thirty four terahash to one hundred and forty one terahash, depending on the miner that you get. There is still a two month warranty remaining on those machines, so get them while it's still hot. You can go to Scott's Deals on Telegram or reach out to me directly to inquire about those deals. And now for the news: Bitcoin's recent decline to approximately ninety two thousand dollars has drawn parallels to the Thanksgiving massacre of twenty twenty, when the cryptocurrency experience experienced a significant drop during the holiday period. After nearing the $100,000 milestone, Bitcoin's price fell over 8% to a one-week low of 91377 on November 26, 2024. Look, I'm not worried. The fundamentals have never changed. And if you're into Bitcoin for the right reasons, the price retrace shouldn't matter to you. Either way, this downturn is attributed to several factors. Long-term holders have reportedly sold around $60 billion worth of Bitcoin in the last 30 days, with 21% of this occurring in November, marking the heaviest profit taking observed in this current cycle. The options market has seen a rise in demand for protective puts ahead of the December 27 options expiry indicating that traders are hedging against potential downside risks. And last but not least, short, short Bitcoin ETFs, which profit from declining Bitcoin prices, have experienced record inflows. For instance, the ProShares Ultra Short Bitcoin ETF recorded 18.8 .8 million in inflows, the largest since its launch. Despite the recent decline, Bitcoin has surged approximately 120% in 2024 and 34% in November alone, influenced by factors such as the re-election of Donald Trump and his pro-crypto stance. I just want you guys to think about that. In the last year alone, Bitcoin has risen over 120%. If you have been dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin, then you have more purchasing power than you did last year. And even if the price starts to slip before the beginning of the new year, ask yourself that question. Are you better off than you were last year? This is not a race between you and me. It's a race between you and yourself. If you are better off today than you were yesterday, then you are winning. Now, before I get to the rest of the news for today, Bitcoin Mining World has a few educational opportunities for you to consider. First, we have an upcoming webinar on December 6th presented by E. EMCD with a guest appearance from Jake Chapman. Learn how to maximize profits, master reward models, and choose the right pool for you. And you'll also learn how to manage and maintain your miners to help maximize your uptime. This is a great opportunity for anybody who's looking to get into Bitcoin mining and understand how mining pools play a pivotal role in your profitability. The next educational opportunity that you might be interested in is the Bitcoin Mining Bootcamp. The Bitcoin Mining Bootcamp offers an intensive hands-on journey into the world of Bitcoin mining. This program is designed for aspiring and experienced miners, providing practical skills and knowledge essential for managing and optimizing mining operations. So the online session is December 10th through the 13th, Tuesday through Friday, 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Central. In-person session is... December 16th through the 17th, Monday through Tuesday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Central. And that will be in Dallas College or in Dallas at the Dallas College Koppel Center. Go to BitcoinMiningWorld.com or click the link in the description to learn more about the Bitcoin Mining Bootcamp and the Mastermind Deep Dive webinar happening on December 6th.
BTC Digital LTD, listed on the NASDAQ as BTCT, has announced a strategic expansion of its Bitcoin mining operations in the southeastern United States. Emphasizing sustainable development, the company plans to build new facilities, acquire existing mines, and form strategic joint ventures with local businesses or institutions to secure a stable, long-term, and sustainable energy supply. The southeastern U.S. is recognized for its abundant energy resources, business-friendly environment, and supportive policies, making it a a key region for BTCT's expansion. The company will prioritize projects aligned with renewable energy and low carbon emission goals to support global energy transition and emission re reduction targets. BTCT's CEO stated, we understand that stable, reliable, and green energy supply is the key to the future success of Bitcoin mining operations. Through this expansion plan, we aim to optimize resource allocation, improve operational efficiency, and demonstrate our unwavering confidence and commitment to long-term development to our investors and the market. This initiative is expected to strengthen BTCT's market position in the Bitcoin mining sector and help build a forward thinking and competitive computational power ecosystem. Before we get into our last bit of the news for the day, I want to tell you guys about the Pod X by Greenwich Generation. The Pod X is a brand new revolutionary style of containerized mining that is sure to help you maximize your efficiency and maintain your uptime as a hosting provider. Here's a quick video so that you can kind of see them in action. We're self miners ourselves. And we understand a lot of the problems that a common miner out there or a common company that runs air-cooled units might experience. And we've helped a lot of other sites that use these air-cooled solutions. And we understand what, what you go through. Like we understand the hot air research issues that might come with, uh, with some of these solutions. Like it's really what drove us to want to try and solve that into one solution, which is what we ended up doing. Make sure to go to the link at the bottom of your screen or in the description to find out more about the Pod X and how it could be pivotal to your journey as a Bitcoin miner. And last but not least, Core Scientific has transitioned from traditional Bitcoin mining to offering HPC services tailored for AI workloads. The company has entered into a substantial 12-year hosting agreement with CoreWeave, a prominent AI cloud provider valued at approximately $4.7 billion. This partnership underscores Core Scientific's commitment to diversifying its revenue streams. Similarly, BitDigital is expanding its focus to include AI applications. The company has acquired Innovum data centers for $46 million, adding a fully operational tier three data center to its portfolio. This facility is equipped to handle the rigorous demands of AI workloads, positioning BitDigital to offer services beyond cryptocurrency mining. The integration of AI services by Bitcoin miners like Core Scientific and BitDigital reflects a broader industry trend as AI development requires substantial computational power. These companies are leveraging their existing infrastructure to meet this demand, thereby creating new revenue opportunities and enhancing operational resilience. The strategic shift not only diversifies their business models, but also positions them at the forefront of the evolving intersection between cryptocurrency mining and AI development. That is all from me today. This news broadcast was brought to you by Channel 256 and Bitcoin Mining World. If you enjoyed today's broadcast, we encourage you to like and subscribe for more just like it. While Bitcoin is going up and everyone is getting richer, remember to ground yourself in the fundamentals, remain solvent, and stack sats. Also, tomorrow is Thanksgiving here in America. If you are celebrating with family and friends, remember to meet people where they are at. Stay humble if you can. I'm thankful for all of you and for your continued support of this show and for su the support of Bitcoin Mining World. With that, I will be back tomorrow for another Channel 256 News.